Hey there, how you holding up today? I hope you're well. As for me, I've only got three updates from the homestead today. The first one's about history. When I was growing up, history was one of my favorite subjects. I was such a nerd. I loved reading about the Roman Empire. I remember when I was really young, my dad would let me stay up extra late to watch black and white documentaries in World War II. Definitely my favorite subject. Reading about the sometimes tragic trajectory of human events is to me a worthwhile endeavor. Civil wars, advancements in culture and arts, the Renaissance, the Egyptians, the Greeks, the Chinese. There's so many bottomless pits of information that you could just lose yourself in. <laughs> and lately I've been thinking, while history is definitely fun and worthwhile to study, it's not necessarily fun living through history. I think most people would agree that 2020, this year, will go down as a very interesting year in the history books. And it's strange to think about that we're actually living through a really engaging chapter in a history book right now. Now I'm filming this video two days after the 2020 US presidential election. And don't worry, I'm not gonna wade into politics. It's never been my intention to make this channel political. But I will say that no matter where you fall on the political spectrum, it's fair to say that things are very uncertain right now. And once we start talking about political uncertainty, then we start getting into the realm of things that this channel does talk about, namely self-sufficiency. I believe I've discussed this in previous videos, but I'm sure everyone remembers that time back in March of 2020 when all the grocery stores started running out of food. I remember when Holly and I walked into the grocery store, I think it was in the middle of March, only to discover that all the potatoes were gone, all the rice was gone, of course all the toilet paper was gone too. People were hoarding these things, stocking up their pantries. Now I'm not trying to claim that the current situation, the election, will repeat what we experienced with the pandemic. I'm not saying that. I don't know if the grocery stores are gonna go empty or not. But I will say that with the uncertainty that we're living through right now, I wouldn't be all that surprised if I walked into the grocery store tomorrow and a lot of things were gone. And that actually leads me to my second point, which is we're taking active measures to try and be more self-sufficient around here on the homestead. And to be honest, that's one of the major reasons we even bought a homestead in the first place, was to be more self-sufficient. Now, self-sufficiency is such a loaded term. What exactly does it mean? For some people, self-sufficiency is being 100% off-grid, growing or raising 100% of their own food being responsible for their own water, being responsible for their own electric, being responsible for their own composting systems and their own plumbing. To Holly and I, that's not feasible. Look, we've got a couple of laying hands at the moment and that's about it. But we can work at it. Slowly, slowly, we can work at it. And one of the very first projects that I've taken on to kind of move us in a more self-sufficient direction is water barrels. As you can see here, I've set up my very first water barrel system. I was able to get these barrels from a local barrel supplier for 12 bucks a pop. They used to hold soda, but they rinsed them out a few times. Um, so they are safe for eventually watering the plants or giving water to the chickens. Um, normally these barrels cost, I don't know, 120 bucks or so retail. Uh, so to get them this cheap was definitely a bargain. Once I got all the parts, it was pretty easy. Basically, I cut the downspout off of this gutter, put this flex hose up here, cut some holes in these barrels for the faucets and the intake, and cut some holes to connect the two. That's about all I did. Now, ultimately, I'd like to set a couple of these stations up around the house. I've talked before about how we've been having problems with water getting into the crawl space, and that's initially why I set these up. But the fact that we can use this water 
put it through our filtration system is just an added bonus and one tiny little extra thing that we can do to be a little more self-sufficient. Speaking of these projects, we've got a lot lined up for when things start getting cold. We've already been experiencing nights down in the 30s, and I expect the temperatures to start getting that way during the day. And as I've talked about in the past, one of my very first projects is clearing out the junk in this barn. I'm really excited about it. It's such a bummer to look out the kitchen window every day and see all this junk lying here in the barn. I want to restore it to its former glory, and I think we'll have a chance to do that once the weather cools and we can rent a dumpster or two. The next big project for the winter is taking this big, flat, kind of barren space and turning it into a raised bed garden. Right now, there's not much going for this spot. It used to be where an, an above ground pool was, but we really think that we can add some mulch down here, pop up some raised beds, and maybe add a couple of berry bushes on this little slope right here. It'll be really nice to have a kitchen garden not that far out from our actual kitchen. Before I leave you today, I just had one final thing. I know I've been teasing in the past few videos a big announcement that's been coming up. And trust me, I haven't forgotten about it. It's still coming up and it's still lined up. Um, we're just waiting on a few little things to kind of fall into place, but when they do, it's gonna change the nature of our homestead and it's gonna change the nature of this channel and it's very exciting. So please do stay tuned. I gotta say that I really appreciate all of you folks who have subscribed to the channel. One of the things I've really gotten out of this channel is I tend to ask a lot of questions of you subscribers and you guys answer them. And there's been a lot of projects around the farm that I've taken on or changed because of your guys' experience and knowledge. So keep watching and stay safe out there and keep the faith. We'll talk to you soon.